Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, American Boy Collects American Girl. So I have a bit of a re-unboxing. Um, I'm going to be like kind of, I think, YouTube journaling, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, tracking everything I collected in the year of 2023. Um, so some of the some of the stuff I've got is lots. I really want to do videos for some of them. I've already recorded, but I've never uploaded. Um, so I think some of them are going to end up being kind of like um, <clears throat> maybe like a little backtrack. Like I say, like the first couple months didn't really have a whole ton because that's when I first started getting into it. So I might like do the first three months like as an all big overview, and then like okay, if there was a video I already uploaded or whatnot, I would like. Um, I don't know, I figured out how to link it in the description or something. Anyway, um, so yeah, this one, in case you're wondering, yes, I'm wearing green. Because <laughs> today is actually St. Patrick's Day. It just hit midnight, Saturday night. So it is officially St. Patrick's Day. Um, so yeah, so I thought I probably should wear green. Um, yeah, so this lot I got back in August. Um, hang on, I have papers. Been working on writing up a list. I don't know why, for some reason, they changed it on my credit card. Instead of saying the name of the seller um, that was on eBay, they just say eBay now. So it's like, I only have eBay and dollar amount. So it's like, I'm going backtracking on everything I bought last year. And I'm like actually writing down the cost. Like what, like what was the total price? What was purchased? Uh, description of that and then breakdown of the item cost the shipping cost the tax etc anyway so this Marianne lot i hope i end up coming out even on this or better off i don't know i thought i was getting a good deal anyway i paid 425 dollars 90 for this lot uh, i never actually crunched the numbers to see i don't know maybe i did when i was thinking about getting it i'm not sure if i did that or not um but i haven't actually since then crunched the numbers to see did i actually <laughs> Make out or not. I do have a couple of things I'm going to be selling. So, yeah, the first one actually is in my lap. Um, so, yeah, um, they actually had the doll. No, no, did I say it was Mary Ellen? I don't remember what I just said. Anyway, it's late. Anyway, so yeah, Mary Ellen's lot, um, but it's the Be Forever Mary Ellen. So, yeah, um, there's packing, uh, there's the wrap in there. So, I'll get that out in a minute when I open it. But I thought this was really cool because this is a new feature I hadn't seen before is that they had like a sticker where they put it over whereas like um yeah it just says American girl be forever um but doesn't didn't actually have it so it must be at some point later they decided to put the picture of the doll on the outside of the box but then at some point later on when they got rid of the be forever on the box they actually printed the picture on the box i thought that was kind of cool that was a sticker it's actually like outlined you can sort of see what part is the sticker and what's not so that's Marilyn. so yeah and this one actually still had the original plastic tab too. I don't think it had the attachments for it. Let me look at, let me take it off and find out. So um, this is definitely one I will be selling because we already got Mary Ellen. Oh, they do. Okay, so they had, so they had the um, plastic tab, but they didn't have the thing to attach her neck to it. But her feet are rubber band to the box. So I'll just show her like this. So yeah, so she's not attached at her neck, even though they do have the thing to attach her. Um, but she, they did like strap rubber bands down here and tie them. Um, and But they put that other stuff around it. I don't know, I can't remember what that kind of packing material is called. Because uh, I know it's not bubble wrap. Um, it comes in sheets like bubble wrap though. Um, but they tied it off. and then, But she has her full meat outfit. And she does also have... the book which they put in the bag um so yeah, this is the first book that came with a doll she didn't have the other two books but yeah this is the book um and i would just give you a little disclaimer while i got the book in front of me um if you get the characters that came out after be forever rebrand um especially after they changed out the books to get rid of be forever on it you want to get the be forever book so that'd be like for mary ellen and melody and i'm not sure who else was during this time maybe also nanea because 
the newer um, books are abridged, so you do not get the full stories for Samantha and Addie and Josefina and Kaya and Mary Ellen and Melody. And I think the only ones they still have the full books are Courtney, Claudie, and the twins. So the last three dolls that came out, but everything like Nenea and everyone else that's come out since then. Um, any of the dolls that had the six book sets from the beginning with Pleasant Company. Um, and then any of the ones that came out later, definitely Mary Ellen, Melody, and Nene. I'm not sure who else. I'm not sure if there was any other ones, but um, for the historical line, I can't remember at the top of my head right now. Um, but yeah, because like this book, I'm almost done reading this book. Um, the last four chapters are Mary Ellen's Christmas story. They're deleted completely from... The new book. I haven't read actually the new book yet because we got that book when we got the doll. Because we already had the we got the doll, so I was like, I really wanted to get some of her outfits and stuff. So I was actually looking for a Christmas outfit. Um, but then I found this lot and it was like crazy. So I was like, yeah, well, I feel like it was a better deal getting the doll with the lot than having her sell the doll separately. So I left it. Again, I have to check and see if I, I did uh did a good thing by getting it all um but yeah so i'll definitely be selling the doll in the first book because i already have i actually have this book and also the version the abridged version that came with our doll um so yeah i do want to actually i might do a comparison with the two though to see i'm wondering if this is actually hmm you know what, before I do, I'm not actually sure yet if I'm going to sell her yet or not. I, I probably will because I don't need two of her, but I want to check the face mold. Because I'm not sure if Mary Ellen had the original classic face mold before they changed it. Or if she always had the newer version of it. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think? Does that look like the older version of the classic face mold or is that the newer version? I'm just looking at that and I can't tell. And I'm like... Is it all honesty? Her face looks a little smaller on the one we own, but I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna do a comparison of Mary Ellen. You know, if they have two different face molds on, yeah, well, no, maybe I won't. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe I'll keep her, but um, yeah, probably shouldn't. I don't, I don't need two of the same doll. But yeah, so that's the doll. Now let me show you some of the fun outfits I got. Let's put this all back together again. Actually, you know what? I don't know. I think I'll leave the book out. I'll wait until I figure out what I'm doing with it, and then I'll put the book back in. So this might be for sale. We'll see. I don't honestly know how at the present... Sorry, give me a second. Um, to actually sell yet. I'm still trying to learn that, because it wasn't until I bought a couple of things from Christy at AJ Takes Over last year and the sale she was having... I didn't actually know you could use PayPal to go from person to person. I always thought there had to be like something in between, like a store like Walmart or Target or eBay. You know, I didn't know you could actually go person to person with PayPal. So I thought that's actually kind of cool. And then you could even make an invoice that's detailed and itemized. I'm like, that is really cool. So yeah, I definitely want to figure out how to do that because I definitely have a lot of doubles that I ended up with last year and I'd like to... <laughs> I'd like to get out of debt at some point this year. It would be nice <laughs> before next year starts. Um, so, yeah, definitely would like to get rid of some of the stuff. Um, I definitely want to make sure before I sell anything that, you know, it's it's not, doesn't have any odor. If it needs cleaning, I'll wash it, um, whatever, you know. Um, yeah, and the book, that book is in really good condition. I don't even know if they ever even read the book. It doesn't look like there's any marks in any of the pages. The cover looks really good. Maybe I should compare it with the used one I got. <laughs> anyway, no, I'll, I would definitely sell this one. Because uh, I believe this was from a. Uh, let's see if I remember. I think this was a mother daughter team that were collecting. Um, and I think at the time I got this, the mom was telling me that her daughter just finally finished off everything. Note I said everything for Kit's collection. I'm assuming that probably means Ruthie also, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, every single piece the kid ever had. From the Pleasant Company um, American Girl Mattel transition all the way to the present. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> 
And she doesn't have as big, a, I don't know if she has the biggest collection as a Julie, but um, that's a lot of stuff. So yeah, they, they were going to do that with Mary Ellen also, but they said, yeah, no, <laughs> uh, we're not going to get all of her stuff. We'll just get the, get, get the stuff we like or want. But yeah, Kit definitely, they went through and got everything. So yeah, I guess it took several years. I mean, maybe even a decade. I'm not sure remember how much now it took. Anyway, now let's see. What do I want to go to next? All right, I have a box. So you see a box off to the side here. That's that. <laughs> I was either to have that in the picture or the other boxes off to my other side. <laughs> I actually have a stack of dolls over here. All right, so let's see. I got this one. Let me see what I got here. That's probably not gonna stay there. Let me just take these out real quick. So I also got a couple Caroline lots. I got a couple, um, I only had the one lot for Mary Ellen. Had a couple Caroline lots, a Girl Today lot. Um, just trying to get the, <laughs> the stuff that's for um, Mary Ellen. I don't want. I'm gonna do Caroline in a different. Yeah, that's all. The rest of that's Caroline's. Um, I'll do Caroline in a separate one. I am gonna tag a few other things on that wasn't part of this lot, uh, but I had to get in order to um, complete. <laughs> you know, complete the. Um... Sorry, I'm not. I'm not a fan of ball caps, and it's kind of weird doing a ball cap in March. Anyway, although it is getting a little warmer. If the weather decides if it wants to be spring or winter, it would be nice because it keeps bouncing back and forth. Um, okay, let's see. Let's start with this one. It's right here. All right, so this outfit is um, Mary Ellen's... <laughs> I had to remember which character I was doing. Mary Ellen's birthday dress. This is her first one, not the pink one, the green one. I'm like, this, I just love how it looks darker, like right where this, um, the stitches are. And that, uh, the ribbon is really pretty. And then this little flower. See, that's the dress. And then it's like this on the back. Just has the Velcro down the back side. And these were really well taken care of. They actually smell good. I don't think I'd even have to wash these or anything. Then the other two parts to this outfit. So she has... Um, oops. This cute, 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 I love this shade of pink. These cute pink shoes. I don't know, why is that shoes? I always have a problem getting it too close to the camera. All right, then they have these little, a little bit of a heel there, and this kind of underside. Um, that section says American Girl Made in China. Huh, only one says Made in China. They both say American Girl, but only one says Made in China. So yeah, they have like these little, yeah, she has a little bit of, uh, it looks like she's, crushed uh packing peanut and stuffed it in there to help the shoes keep their shape so yeah i'm not going to take that out sorry <laughs> i'm leaving that in there until i actually use this outfit and the last piece of her uh outfit was the little headband with the bow i do not know why there's this thing they have to have these tags on on this i really don't understand that because i mean this is a hair accessory how exactly are you gonna hide this <laughs> Maybe I'll have to like wrap it around and tape it off or something with some clear tape. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm like kind of torn because I don't really want to take them off, but at the same time, it's also annoying because like um, I don't want this sticking off the side of her head. It looks like she has some kind of <laughs> like unicorn horn, <laughs> but it's a tag. <laughs> All right, these um, and she didn't have. I don't think she had these in. Yeah, that way. Okay. I don't remember how I had it in here now. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> Sorry, I probably should hit the pause button. Um, maybe I did have a good one. Is it longer than that? No, that was not the way I had it. Okay, sorry. Um, I put these all in their own bags just so they could have the outfits paired up with what goes together. Um, that was my own little kind of thing. <laughs> so that way I knew what went with what. I was also kind of trying to see, okay, what, did I have it? What was missing? So I know this one I think was completely complete. I didn't double check. I'm pretty positive this one was complete. So that was her birthday dress. Um... Let's see. Then she also had the main part that I was after, her Christmas dress. Um, so I guess let's start with these first. These are the fun part. Uh, the shoes. 
I still think the funnest part of American Girl was their footwear. I don't know. And these are Velcro, so that's kind of cool. Again, they have the little heels. And they say American Girl. I can't even rec read what that says. I think made in China. And a bunch of numbers. So yeah, these are really cool shoes. I like them. They're really shiny. And like I said, they have Velcro there. Oop, wrong angle. There we go. All right, so that's the shoes. I guess I did put that in right. All right, this is the dress. I think this is really fun. It's like a red on red, but the darker red is a polka dot. And it has this bow. It's kind of funny the way they did it, like a vertical instead of a cross, like the other one. I don't know. This maybe could use a little bit of steaming. Maybe I got it messed up from having it in the bag. Anyway, so it's just like that. And again, just the Velcro down the back. Let's see, here. there we go. It took some left right there. All right. Yeah, there's the old dress. Right, so that's the dress. Now the other thing they had, I am curious as to what I did with this, but I'm missing something. Um, okay, well here's the, this is really fun. It's like a furry, I think it's like a shrug kind of sweater. That's like, I don't know, if, again, if this is what they call Angora. Is that how it's pronounced? I think that's how it's pronounced. That kind of sweater. Anyway, yeah. It just it doesn't have no button or anything, so it just like open. So that goes over the dress. Yeah, so that's the front, the back. I don't know. They had some of this stuff wrapped in tissue paper. I just left this wrapped in tissue paper because it's white and I didn't want the red to bleed or anything onto it. So yeah, I left that separate. Um I gotta find out what I did with the tights though. As I had to, I had to wash the tights because there was a green mark in them, but I don't see them here. Thankfully, the mark came out, so I don't have to. <laughs> didn't have to buy new tights for her Christmas outfit. Um, let's see. I have to figure this out. All right, give me a second. Get this in here real quick. I do want to rebox these all because I don't know. I like these in boxes, and I like them to be able to lie flat and not. I don't want to say I'm not, you know, like this. So, um, I got to figure out what I do with the tights. I don't know what I do with the tights. I thought they were, I thought I put them back in here. Maybe they're with the skating outfit. Um, I'll have to check that. Definitely got to figure out what I do with the tights because I got to put it on her. <laughs> okay. So that was for Christmas outfit. So it was missing the tights. It was also missing the hair. I think it was a barrette. Don't quote me. Um, I have to get that though. All right, so let me, no, let me pause, hang on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to do some hunting. So yeah, I did find them. They were in a little snack bag. <laughs> I forgot I did that after I washed them. Didn't want to put them with it until after the fact. But here's the tights that go with um, Mary Ellen's Christmas outfit. Uh, these had like a little green mark. I don't know if it was pen or not. And I actually didn't think it was going to come out. I thought I was going to have to buy a new pair or try to find one, but they actually came out. So I was actually really happy with that. So that was really cool. Um, all right. So then for this box, the last piece. So this is like my favorite outfit for Mary Ellen. I want to think it's a missing part of it. So I don't have the whole outfit. So it's the cherry i think it's her, what it's called her play outfit anyway it's got this cherry t uh applique on her top it's got the red gingham on the edges and then it's got these buttons and i believe it's velcro yeah it's velcro these are fake buttons it's velcro i love this this definitely needs a little bit of ironing or washing or something to get it better and then she has the um let's see here the red gingham hair bow And then she has these denim, like, I think it's supposed to be denim, but like these pants that go with it, they're elastic. And so there's no Velcro at all. Um, they have these fun stitching and the buttons on the bottom and, and the stitching at the pockets. And I think it's, is it fake pockets or is it real? Now those are actually fake pockets. There's nothing there. <laughs> There's nothing. You can't even put your finger in it. So I guess it's supposed to resemble pockets, but it's nothing actually there. So the only piece I'm missing is the shoes that have the cherries on it. So yeah, that's definitely one thing I gotta find. Um because yeah, like the I wanna say the um 
the missing piece I had for the skating outfit and the missing piece I had for the Christmas outfit I was able to find. Uh, but I haven't been out, I haven't looked for the shoes yet. Um, actually, there's also a piece for the pajamas. Actually, the only thing I missed... Oh, yeah, that's that's crazy. I didn't even realize this until just now as I'm saying this, that the only piece that I haven't found yet is the cherry shoes to finish off the play outfit. I've actually found the tights for the skating outfit. I found the hair bow for the Christmas outfit. And then the pajamas was missing, I believe, the shorts? Or was it the top? It was one of the two. I'll... And then I'm gonna actually give you the other three lot or things I purchased just so I can get the the missing put yeah the missing pieces. <laughs> That's what I was trying to spit out there. Alright, and then this one, so this is gonna tell me what I was missing, but I really was excited for the, these pieces I was actually excited to get. Um so for Okay, so she didn't have the slippers. Okay. So for her pajamas, she just had the top only she didn't have the slippers or the shorts which i thought she had the slippers but i guess not okay so she just had the top it's really fun fabric i don't know if you can catch it but it's got like these raised dots all over it um and it has these little bows on the top it's just velcro down the back so that's the top but there was this um this piece i'm really excited to get it's like sort of has the feel of like a mob cap like felicity had but it was supposed to go with her curler set so what we do is you curl your hair and then you put this over it while you slept so i really wanted because i didn't realize this wasn't part of the pajamas and i really didn't want the roller set <laughs> that wasn't anything i was interested in but i really wanted this to complete the pajama outfit so yeah so i got because i thought it looked really cool with the whole thing so yeah needs a little bit of a iron on that one ribbon but anyway it keeps going to fold over but yeah so i got that with it so it didn't have the other parts i will show you in a minute that i did get the slippers and the shorts to go with it but that didn't have it the other thing that was really cool was that she had her christmas apron that came with the cookie cutter set um so originally i wasn't too upset that i didn't have the rest of it because i didn't think i'd ever be able to get that until i found out mary ellen's cookie cutters are those red plastic ones that i was actually kind of excited about because that is something my mom had. She had tons. She had a whole box of Christmas cookie cutters that were the red plastic ones. We had, I think, once for every holiday, practically. Um, and I think if I found, remember correctly, some point around during the pandemic, I found out they were actually still being made. I haven't checked recently to see if they're still in business, but that, was it r and I don't remember what it was. Some, shoot, I can't remember what the company was called but they were still actually in business and i was kind of shocked by that and you could buy the you could literally buy the entire line of cookie cutters anyway um so yeah they had sets and they had i think them single also can't see if i can get this to but that's the detail of the the christmas tree with the deer and the rabbit and i think there's birds yeah there's birds in the trees too there's a nest in the uh, oh no it's actually in the antlers of the deer it's not another tree behind there <laughs> the birds are in the antlers of the tree or the antlers of the deer and then they're on top of the tree where the star should be oh yeah it's fun there's candy canes there's a few birds flying oh, that's a really cool yeah so i was really excited to get this so and the funny thing was and i'm not putting this in with this video i think i did an unboxing video with something else i got back Christmas but I did get her I did get her cookie cutter set so I'm not going to do this in this particular unboxing because it's already getting long <laughs> I'm already at 23 I'm at 23 are you kidding me right now okay yeah I'm at 23 um so I'm not going to do it in this unboxing because I think I already did it if I did I'll try to remember to upload that and then link the two together somehow or put the description for both for this one and that one and then that one and this one if that makes any sense <laughs> it sounded right in my head but then didn't exactly come out right so yeah i guess the only thing i gotta get is the shoes so let's see all right now one more thing hang on all right so there's two more things to this lot and then i'm going to start showing you the extras to finish off the outfits but let's see if you can guess what this goes with here's a little kerchief pink well that's kind of see-through you can actually see me through it. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, pink on pink polka dots. Let's see, that was a popular thing in the 50s to have one color darker on top of the other color. And then here's the blouse. Oh, I never noticed this. Oh, it's a different fabric, I think. Isn't it? No, it's actually the same fabric. This, I just realized the sleeves are the same fabric as the kerchief. 
That is so cool. I didn't even realize that. And it's got Velcro down the back. So those are just fake pink buttons in the front. So that's the top. And then obviously when I show you this piece, you're gonna know what the outfit is. But here she is. Here it is. The pink or the black with the pink poodle skirt. Fun thing is, she also had the <laughs> they also had the crinoline. Um, so yeah. Actually, let me see if I can so I just over Let's see if I can do this. So that's Eh, let's see here. So that's what that looks like, and it goes underneath it, and it makes the skirt look more poofier. So say like, pretend my arm is the doll <laughs> body. So yeah, so it actually makes it look a lot, makes it go out a little more, so you can actually see the full skirt and the poodle. Of course, the doll's body is gonna be probably a little bit wider. Um, looks like it's okay. So the skirt itself, actually, both of them are elastic, so there's no Velcro at all. So elastic there. Um, see how that goes all the way up to the waist and then it comes around back to the poodle. Um, and that's the poodle. I'm not really sure why the poodles were always pink. That I don't understand. All right, so that's the skirt. And then of course we had to finish the outfit. Get a hold of it. We have the little shoes. I guess these are like the saddle shoes that these kind of look like the saddle shoes that Molly had for her camp outfit. Yeah, there's the laces and then I don't know shoes. Hmm. Could have sworn there were socks that came with this. Maybe I'm missing the socks. I don't know. I thought there were socks that's supposed to come. Oh wait. Did I drop them? I I dropped them. Oh shoot. Must have come out with the skirt. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> a little bit of cat hair. I need to vacuum. <laughs> so yeah, there was socks. I thought they were inside, but there was actually packing peanuts again. So that person was really nice about putting like packing peanuts in the shoes. Um, I think they're okay. It's kind of fun too. I don't know if you notice. It's got like a quilted material to it. Not really super thick. Um, yeah, here's the other socks. So yeah, here's the two socks. Again, I'm not good with, for some reason, the small stuff I keep wanting to zoom in real close, and then I'm like not even getting it in camera at all. Anyway, so that's the socks. Anyway, um, let's see. So let me put this back in the bag. See, so that's, that is uh, Mary Ellen's pool skirt outfit. That was really fun too, after reading the storyline. Um, but I guess she borrowed the top the blouse from one of her sisters. So it was really, it was really cool too how she wanted this outfit and then didn't really think she was gonna get it, but then she was able to. Her mom let her get it, and I don't know, just really cool part of the story. Her story is really fascinating. I think I have to say, um, of the newer characters since the Be Forever rebrand up to the present, I think my top favorite character is Mary Ellen. So I really love a lot of her storyline. All right, so that's that outfit. So one more outfit and then I'll show you the missing parts to the others. All right, so that's that. So now this part, if you watched my, um, what we got for Christmas, what mom and I got each other for Christmas, you have already have seen this. Actually, let me bring that back. Yeah, not the whole thing, not the whole thing. Just want to take the top layer out. Ah. Technical difficulties. Right. Turn the tissue paper in your face. <laughs> or in my face. <laughs> Alright, so first part of this outfit is the is the dress. Again, I'm too close. I think this is really cool how they did the embroidery of the snowflakes on the skirt. Really fun. And it has the fake buttons. Because it actually has Velcro down the back. I'll show you in a minute. And there's more up there. So you got here and here. So like at a diagonal that has them. And then it's just, I don't know if it's a velour. I'm not sure what it is. So then it has the Velcro going down. And then I'm not sure why, what the obsession was again with the, <laughs> the light blue and the red combination. It's a kind of a strange combination. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what they did. Um, so they have the red under, or the blue underneath. 
Um, that's the dress. And so then this is the scarf. Has the, again the little snowflakes in with the scarf all the way around it. And this is fun that um, you have Velcro to do it around her neck. So you don't actually have to try to tie it. It's already, the, the, that's already pre tied. So that's kind of fun. Um, let's see. So that's that part of her outfit. And the next part she has are the skates that are also light blue. So the theme is red and light blue. I'm not really sure why. I think royal blue would have looked nicer. Um, I mean, the skates look really pretty. And um, I don't believe there was any cracking to the material, so that's cool. And they could use maybe a little bit of a polishing. There's a little bit, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of a smudge or something on there. Um, let's see, let me put this back on top of this. Right, put these back in. Then she also has the light blue mittens. See on both sides. And the hat. And the hat also has the same concept of the snowflakes. And it has a pom pom on the top. And then the, the rolled thing at the bottom. So that's the hat. Try to get this back so you can see it. There you go. Um, that's the hat, but uh, the only thing I was missing for this outfit was the tights. So I was actually able to get uh, another, so I had to get a second dress. So the one so the seller I bought the tights from just had the tights and the dress. So I do have a dress that I'll be selling at some point, just the dress only. But here's the tights. They're almost identical to her, um, I'll say her... Would find me would be nice right now. <laughs> um, Christmas dress. That's what I was trying to spit out. <laughs> it's like, what outfit was that I just showed you? Okay, the head tights. Um, give me one second. Okay, so I'm back. Um, let's see. So I'll do the dress first. So, so three things I had to get the. Uh, Extra parts too was the stockings for the um, skating outfit, the hair bow for the Christmas outfit, and the rest of the pajamas. So I'm gonna actually do this in a reverse order, I think. I don't know. Which, no, I think I got the stockings in the middle. So yeah, so this so I wrapped it up in tissue paper. It's got kind of wrinkled or ripped up. But here again is the dress. So this is the dress. I'll probably be selling this one, keep the other one as a whole outfit. But yeah, this is the dress. I'll be selling for the skating outfit um, at some point. Again, whenever I figure out, it's pretty good. So yeah, that doesn't need washing. Might need a little bit of pressing when you get it. Um, but yeah, so that's the dress. Um, then this one, so I think this is the one I got around Christmas. Um, but again, you had the uh, this was actually in the original box, just missing the tissue paper, but with the Christmas dress. So this Christmas dress I'll be selling. And again, she had the shrug sweater. So she had just, those are the only two people. Those are the only two parts I'll be selling. I'm not sure if I'm keeping the box or not. We'll see. Um, but the thing I was missing was her hair bow. And then this has got, it's like ribbon, but then it's got this like piece of elastic so it can stretch. A really fun bow kind of also kind of looks like it's the material from samantha's christmas dress the darker version i don't know anyway so that's her bow seems like i never fail as i always get it right on the hour when the clock is chiming but anyway all right so that's her christmas the rest of her christmas so there might be those will be two parts i'll be selling um and then the one i showed you already the shirt i'll probably sell that shirt and then lastly so some point in the fall, September maybe? I don't know. I don't remember why I looked up. Um, I went and got a lot, of the second lot for Caroline, and then a lot for the girl today. And then she was also selling Mary Ellen's pajamas, the same ones I just showed you. Um, it was missing the, ha the hat um, for the curlers set, but she had the top, the shorts, and the slippers, so I actually have that. So here is, again, the top. That's the part you already saw. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't even notice it before when I showed you. There's also bows down the side. So there's bows at the top of the sleeves. 
and bows here. Um, and this one is the shorts. Let's see which is the front. This is the front. All right, so there's the front. It's almost like bloomer type shorts, like the way they did for Molly, Samantha, Kit, and their best friends. <laughs> but it was done for like pajamas, so that would go underneath that kind of concept. And then again, I've said this in one other video. I don't know if this is a video I've uploaded yet or not, but I do not know what is up with their slippers. These are not slippers, people. These are flats. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the deal is. Like, why can't you make it out of more of a plush material so it actually looks like a slipper? But and they don't have a heel, so they're flat on the bottom. Again, that says American Girl Made in China. And that's on both of them this time. Kind of a cool... I like that shade. Hey, it actually... <laughs> hey, we're actually kind of matching almost. <laughs> and then they have the little ribbon bows on there. And then the... So that's the back. That's the front. And wait in the middle. So yeah, that's the slippers. So yeah, that is all of Mary Ellen's stuff. So the whole Mary Ellen lot doll with the partial outfits and the meat book. Um, then I had the second skating outfit to get the tights, the second Christmas outfit to get the um, the hair bow, and then the second set of pajamas to get the rest of the outfit. So yeah, the only thing I gotta find is those cherry shoes. So yeah, I just have to go through this. Um, I think I'm going to keep, I think this might be the one I'm going to sell because I think the other shirt feels like it was in better condition. Or this, yeah, this has got a lot of crap in the Velcro. So yeah, I think I'm going to sell this one. And it's also got a lot of pilling I've noticed on certain areas. Not I, like the shorts don't look so bad. But yeah, I definitely will be looking at comparing. I'll probably keep the ones from the lot and then sell the other ones. So yeah, um, but yeah, that's the, that's the haul thing so i got the three extra parts to finish off the outfit so now i just got to find the cherry shoes and i'll have the haul set for what i got in the lot um but yeah that was a fun find um getting that um that was last august so yeah so yeah again i gotta check out and see if i did actually but of course i gotta sell the <laughs> sell the extra so i gotta like add up everything so what the extra skating dress the extra christmas dress and the extra pajamas cost combined with that 400 hundred dollar price tag and then sell it so we'll see anyway hopefully it'll come out somewhat decently maybe cheaper than when you could have got them from American girl i don't know maybe <laughs> i don't know definitely gotta figure that out anyway um but yeah that's the video so that's all my stuff for the mary ellen lot and then the extra stuff um yeah let me know what you think do you like mary ellen is she one of your favorite characters um is there anything about the collection you like um again i'll try to remember to if I find it, I think I put it together in a video um, of the cookie cutter set, but I'm not going to put that in here because I think I've already done it. If not, I will do it again as a separate video because <laughs> it's already almost 40 minutes. And I don't want to get much longer than it already is. So, yeah, I'm going to sign off now. Like and subscribe. Again, thank you if you're returning and welcome. If <laughs> I'm getting it backwards on the end instead of the I'm doing this as the outro, not the intro. <laughs> welcome if this is your first time being here. Maybe one of these times I'll get it right, <laughs> in the right order. Uh, anyway, um, now I'm rambling. All right, so yeah, that's my Mary Ellen lot. At some point, I'm going to do the Caroline lots. I probably do those all into one. So I got two Caroline dolls I got to sell because I have three of them now. Um, but yeah, I got to do that. Um, yeah. See, I don't know what I'm doing the girl of today doll that I got because she got that sort of grain to her skin. I really wanted to keep her because she was number 20, but then at the same time, I was also thinking, well, she's also still in the original mix and match outfit. I think it's almost in complete. I think it's almost complete, except for the hat with the sunflower. I think there might be one other accessory she's missing too, but yeah. Um, so yeah, we will see what I do with her. But yeah, I'll do another lot. With our, yeah, another video for the Caroline lots. Um, yeah, you guys all have a great day. I'm just rambling now and I don't want to keep going. So let's get this off before it hits the 40 minute mark. All right, you guys have a great day. And oh yeah, since it's, since it's March, happy St. Patrick's Day. And enjoy the wearing of the green.